Hey guys, it's Josh from Allen Tuning, and today we're going to go over how to use Magic Motorsports X17 Mag Pro by OBD. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so once you've got uh, your Mag Pro X17 tool plugged into the OBD port, uh, you want to go ahead and plug it into your laptop. And then what you want to do after that is you want to open the X17 application or Mag Pro application. Mine doesn't have an icon, yours should. Um, I don't know why mine doesn't have an icon. Um, now, what I'm going to go over, oh that's fantastic, look at that, Magic Christmas, cute. What I'm going to go over um, is how to find the ECU that you will be working with. So there's two methods, okay? So let's just pretend you're not looking right now. This is the normal view that you guys will have, okay? This is called basic view. On the left-hand side, you have the make, um, then you've got the model in the middle, and then you've got the ECU and the engine on the right-hand side. There's four different settings, uh, I guess, you need to click on or like, you know, to, to siphon into the, to the model we're working with. So today we're working with Mercedes-Benz A45, so what we'll go uh, do is we'll go to uh, Mercedes and we'll look for the A-Class. We know this is a 176. Okay, now we're going to go down and we're going to find the Formatic uh, A45 AMG. Now this is the 360 brake, uh, brake horsepower variant. So that's 360, you see that there. What that stands for, um, uh, the, it, like, uh, sorry, <laughs> 360 is the horsepower, 381 is the horsepower. The 360 is the pre-facelift, the 381 is the post-facelift. But as we can see, if we switch between these two, the ECUs don't change down here. So let's just go to the pre-facelift for this one. And what we're going to be working with today is the Bosch MED 17.7.2 ECU, okay? Now, the Getrag, uh, that is the gearbox. Um, as far as I'm aware, all A45s have the VGS gearbox. But anyway, the purpose of this, we're going to click on this, all right? Now, you've got a whole lot of different options up here on the right-hand side. The uh, bootloader IRO and bootloader EEPROM are for uh, boot mode with this ECU when it's on the bench and you've got the probes on the PCB. Uh, the password is if the OBD is password protected, but what we're going to do is going to go click on OBD for this particular one, identify. Now what we're going to do is going to turn the key on, but not the engine, okay? So click it around until you get to the, uh, until you get the, uh, the instrument cluster to light up with all the different um, logos and things like that, all the little emblems, you know, the ESP off, um, all that sort of stuff. So when that, that lights, all those lights are on and got all that done, we'll want to turn the power on. Okay, so we've got here, we've got like an identification of this particular control unit. Now what we're going to do is um, we, we generally take a, a, a normal read, but in this case, we've only got the ability to virtual read the, the vehicle, okay? At, um, at all times, you'll always, if you do have the option to just read, you'll want to do that. And the reason why is because if you read the ECU, that's exactly what is on the ECU. The virtual read is what the server has that matches the, the software and hardware numbers. But always, if you can, take a backup just pressing normal read. But in this case, for this particular issue, we've only got the ability to virtual read. So what we're going to do is going to click virtual read. It's going to download the files from the server. Let's give it a moment. And, and uh, in order to have virtual read work properly, you're going to need to have the uh, internet connected, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to be able to uh, download the files from the server, all right? Um, another thing as well, you want to make sure that you turn the, uh, the interior lights off. And you also want to make sure you turn the radio off, okay? Now, um, we're going to save it as something that we know, Let's to, that we can refer to. So it's Mercedes A45 stock, okay? OBD. It's something that you can, you know, use something that you can understand and save it somewhere where you know. I know that my desktop's pretty good, pretty sweet. Finished okay. That's fantastic. So what that's done is that's saved the virtual read onto my um, onto my computer. Now, another thing is um, there are particular vehicles, um, BMWs, Minis, things like that, that will, and even, even other cars and the manufacturers, which will just have a push start button. Now, there are often systems in place in push start vehicles that will turn off the ignition after a certain time period. 
it, it is also an issue because some read and write times can be up to half an hour to 40 minutes. So what's going to happen is the ignition is going to turn off. So in order to stop that, what you want to do is you want to press the hazard lights on, have the hazard lights going, have the transmission in neutral, okay? And uh, obviously the key will be on. But So having the transmission in neutral, the, um, the hazard lights on, and the MMI interface also on. So if you turn on the radio, um, or you know, the, the MMI interface, like I said, hazard lights on and transmission neutral, ignition on, um, engine off, your ignition should stay on. Um, and the reason why it does this is because it keeps the CAN bus awake. Um, so when you have the hazard lights in neutral and the uh, and like I said and the uh, MMI on that all these three different systems are keeping the uh, keeping the transmission awake. So you want to sorry keeping the uh, CAN bus awake. So you just want to make sure you've got that. Now for writing, um, when I send you the file or when you get yourself the file, open file here, okay. And what you want to do is you want to go to the way wherever you, you save the tune file or the stock file. I think this is the one. Yep. Press open. Okay. Check some calculation. Okay, so it's check something of and it's check something's already correct, of course, to the stock. And now what we can do is we can click on write, um, but obviously for the purpose of this video, it's just a demonstration. Now, you will also be given the option for recovery. Now, I, I had that option highlighted before, but you can't do it now because we're about to write. But recovery is for, for an ECU, which is no longer communicating, um, and you need to recover it back to factory. So what we'll do, we'll do a virtual read or you know, or we'll get the original read and let's say it's not communicating over OBD or well, maybe the ECU lost communication during write, we'll go ident and then recovery, okay? And recovery, just load the stock file or the standard file that you've got um, bought from the car and it should recover the ECU back into a communication state. Um, but yeah, apart from that guys, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, make sure the battery charger is on um, during the read and during the writes and um, it should be fine. Any questions, send them through.